Little in fishing is more iconic than the, the sight of a float darting out of sight. And we all know that floats are really important tools for fishing, but there's a lot of questions about what size or style of float to use. And answering those questions, uh, one of the best starting points for that is looking at the basic functions of a float. Uh, first, a float uh, suspends a bait at a measured distance. Whether you're talking about a piece of live bait or some type of a lure, the distance from the float to the lure is going to control that depth. Second, and this is a, a point that people tend to overlook, a float gives you casting weight. When you're using a really small offering, maybe a, a micro jig or a maybe a fly that's hard to cast, you can cast it accurately when you're using a float. Uh, third, it allows you to move the bait. Um, it actually controls the action of the, of the bait. A little twitches, maybe pulls, makes that bait move. Finally, and maybe most importantly, a float lets you see what's going on underneath the water, whether that's just uh, the fish are just sort of nibbling or whether it darts underneath, lets you know when to set the hook. So when you consider those basic functions of a float, and consider the circumstance and adjust accordingly, then it makes it a lot easier for you to pick the right size float any given day.